Namaste, and welcome back to our continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with Chapter 4. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 4, Verse 1 There is neither invitation nor casting off. How can there be flowers, leaves, meditations and recitations of sacred texts? And how can there be worship of Shiva, which is the identity in non-difference? The Absolute is not liberated from bondage and obstruction. The Absolute is not purified, cleansed and released. The Absolute is not liberated by union or separation. I am indeed the Free One, like the sky. I have developed no false notion that all this reality come into existence or that all this unreality comes into existence. I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. Stained, stainless, divided, undivided, differentiated. None of these appear to me. I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. It has not yet happened that I, the ignorant one, have attained to knowledge, nor has it become that I have become of the nature of knowledge. And how can I say that I have both ignorance and knowledge? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. It does not appear to me as virtuous or sinful, as bound or liberated, nor does it appear to me as united or separated. I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. I never have the high, low or middle state. I have no friend nor foe. How shall I speak of good or evil? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. I am not the worshipper or of the form of the worship. I have neither instruction nor practice. How shall I speak of myself who am of the nature of consciousness? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. There is nothing here which pervades or is pervaded. There is no abode, nor is there the abodeless. How shall I speak of void and non-void? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. There is no one to understand and nothing indeed to be understood. I have no cause and no effect. How shall I say that I am conceivable or inconceivable? I am free from disease. My form has been extinguished. Wow, beautiful indeed. What a beautiful beginning of chapter 4. I feel we're going to pause it here at verse 10 today. I hope you're able to hear these words again and allow these words to permeate your being so that it may reveal its true inner meaning to you. Leave me a comment and let me know how these verses made you feel. Do share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this most profound and beautiful journey. I look forward to seeing you on a continuing journey through the Abhuduta Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.